It's Britney, bitch. Masa, you loving this convertible? Hell yeah. <laughs> we gotta have to do it once. Finally, get to pick up the R34 today. Starting out here at PDI, we dropped off the R34 to get a brand new set of tires here. So, we are now running the Bridgestone Potenza RE71RS, which I am super freaking hyped about. We don't even have these in the US yet. These are basically like the tire in Japan right now. They're very fast, good for the track. And I can't wait till we actually get them in the States, but tread pattern on them, super sick. Should be good to go. We had super old, I think like four or five year old AO52s over there from, from 2018. So we're definitely due for a fresh set of rubber. We are gonna hit some toges this weekend. So we have the brand new Midori Aragasa suspension now and brand new RE71 RSs. Before we get too far into today, typical Kambini breakfast here. Chicken and rice, and a little bit of coffee. All right, so we are heading to a shop called MCR, Matchless Crowd Racing, uh, which is a GTR specialty shop. So if you guys remember, very early on, I think it might have been the first night we went to Daikoku, we saw a R32 that was absolutely insane. It was kind of like the inspiration car for my Attack 32, and that car was actually built here at MCR. We have a full video coming out about that, uh, about us running on the loop. It was amazing, you guys will see that later on. But this is the actual GTR Pro Shop that built that insane 32. So we're gonna check that out today. Dude, look at this shop, man. Oh, it's a GR in there. Masa, this is really, really cool. The vibe of this shop is like very OG-ish, I guess you could say. It is. Wash-san, the owner of the shop, actually used to do, I guess, go fast on the Shitoko highways. Mm. Like, go fast. So he's the, uh, the owner of MCR, is like the OG loop runner which is very, very cool. Mm -hmm. So a pretty cool fact here is that the owner of MCR actually used to run a car club here in Tokyo called 565 or Go Rugo. They kind of rivaled Midnight Club as being one of the fastest teams on the loop. Roots in Tokyo loop running and, uh, and highway running, which is very, very cool. It's very, very OG Tokyo style also. It is. So here are three of the MCR demo cars. We have a Nismo R35. We've got a 370Z as well as an 86. That's so cool. One cool fun fact about this R35. Yes. So this is a 2017 model R35 GTR Nismo. But come check this out. This is the infamous endless monoblocks. Yeah. But not just any endless monoblocks. It's a carbon fiber composite, um, carbon ceramic brakes endless. Yeah, I was looking at these earlier. These are massive, dude. Absolutely crazy. Do you know how much this costs? Like 20 grand. 50 G's. 50? 50 G's for a brake set. Holy. 4.9 million yen. 50 G's. 50 G's for brakes. No. Well, Currently, you know, but exchange rate is yeah, 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 yeah. But, but still, like you can buy a freaking car, <laughs> you can buy a GR86 <laughs> for a, the price of the brakes. brakes. That's pretty legit, though, dude. That's awesome. And you can see on the inside, it's got some bridge seats on the interior, very sick. Obviously, all the Nismo bits with the, the dry carbon, but and the MC uh, Fujitsubo exhaust carbon tips. Yeah, that's this, cool. This is the infamous team sticker Go New Go. Yes, so five, six, five. Five, six, five. so sick. So Kobayashi-san's philosophy is tuning car is meant for street. So, tuning for what? Like the tuning, tuning car cars are streetable cars. Sure. So unlike you know some cars where it's like barely drivable on the street, Kobayashi-san's main focus is to have a clean street car mm. that you can go super fast on toge, super fast on track, 
in one car. And also be on the street, yeah. It'd be also be on the street. Wow. Well, not any, not really anymore, but I love this so much. Like this is the definition of old school Japan shop. Like this is that philosophy, that tuning philosophy, much like Midori. Very, very cool. Getting the most out of your car for all uses, not just making the most amount of power you can. Or putting like a massive body kit so that it's not drivable on the right, street. Right, right. That's so, why they, all the cars you know, are like all stock. That's cool. It looks like stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very sick. And it's cool to know that that black 32 that we saw on Kaoba san's GTR was built here as well. And they did custom arrow on his, which is really sick. Another little 565 hint right there, Maso. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. And I like that it's it's so low key that you ne would never really know unless you know. That's what I like about these. Very small, like I said, but the history behind MCR is just overall very, very cool. Do you know how long ago he started MCR? I've heard like early 90s, mm. I think. So was Like five... when the 32 was brand new. So was go to go still a team when he started MCR, do you know? I think so. I don't know much history about sure. that. But yeah, I've heard it's kind of like a different branch mm. or like some kind of different team from sure. this, the highways back in the day. Sure. Unfortunately, Kobayashi-san, the owner of MCR, is a little bit busy today, so we can't really get him for an interview. At least seeing the cars in the shop, that was a pretty cool experience. So the MCR established in 1994. Kobayashi-san was a private tuner, so which means they they tune their cars and whenever his friends wanted to get mm. their cars tuned, they go for Kobayashi san. And apparently, Kobayashi san was at first he used a rotary cars, but such as FC RX7, to beat 32 GTRs. <laughs> but 32 GTR was just so fast back then. He decided to buy a 32 GTR and drive them, and it ended up that yeah, he just fell in love. And ever since, he was a GTR guy. That's a cool story. It's okay, just <laughs> now. San, motomoto, are this? Rotary, toka FC, or is it that San, notara, Shacho, Kobayashi. Son was apparently he's not like he started like doing solo runs mm. on C1 and then eventually he kind of uh, took down the um, the previous he's a third of Gorgo's uh, the head of the Gorgo the, mm. the street racing team he's the third member uh, he's the third apparently he kind of took down from it but he was before whenever he was really mm. doing street racing he wasn't like in the part of the team he's just doing solo that's cool yeah so he's the third boss. He's there. the third boss, but he wasn't, you know, like into Gorgo or something like that oh. whenever he was really street racing. Sure, that's cool. That's awesome. So he was solo at first and then took the role of boss and got kind of got out of street. So the second boss, which is called Igarashi-san, has a shop called Gorgo in Yokohama. They sell mainly uh, GTRs, used GTRs and mm. stuff. And before that, he used to work for Nismo. Oh. And actually, he used to own a Z-Tune. That's cool. R34 Z Tune. Wow. I saw. You know why? Because I saw him driving. I saw him in a magazine, GTR mm. magazine issue, where he was with the Z Tune. That's awesome. That's cool. Such a like a rich history behind all of these shops that we go to. Super cool. Getting a very late start to the day. Oh, you again? Well, I was gonna say late day because it was raining this morning. It was pouring this morning, really, really hard. So it was kind of kind of a wash day, but we didn't have too many plans. Thankfully, we've been doing so much stuff that we kind of wanted a little break day. We are definitely getting a, a late start. It's six o'clock 
and we're about to go get some dinner and have a very, very fun night ahead. One thing that we really haven't been able to do just because we've been so busy is hang out more at night and do what I really love, which is, you know, running the Tokyo Loop, heading to Shibuya and Akihabara and seeing all the neon lights and uh, just experiencing midnight, nighttime car life in Japan. We've done a lot of shop visits and traveling around and tonight I kind of want to take it a little bit easier and do some car spotting and hit up some really awesome locations around Tokyo, which I want to kind of show you guys and let you guys experience that too, because driving downtown Shibuya and Shinjuku and Akihabara and Tokyo, it's unlike anything else at night, especially when you're, when you're with friends and JDM cars and stuff. It's really awesome. So that's going to be the plan for today. We are currently heading to dinner right now to go meet up with Samit and Albo and then we'll get our night started. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But as you can see, there's some pretty gnarly rain clouds in the sky. So hopefully it's not too rainy tonight and we can still shoot and have some fun. Call us, oh. How about call us real? Okay. A little bit, while ago. You can show? Sure. Also, quick trip to the Gamini, gonna get some coffee, maybe a little snack for the road trip, and then we'll be good. Quick Gamini snack, Masa. What'd you get? Um, deep fried chicken. That looks good. Battery? Yeah. Oh my god, thank god. There you What's go. What's up, bro? We finally hey made it. So this is uh, JDM Burgers tonight, yeah? Yeah, they make them with the care and precision of Honda, of Honda engineers. <laughs> Damn it, because it's 33 <laughs> GTS. That was cool, yeah, it's, it's like a, like a gross to get her 33. Okay, so this is the, uh, the burger spot. So American in Japan for tonight, I'm guessing. The menu looks like American, right? It does. This whole place looks super American. You know how you always say like, oh, this is the best katsu ever. This is the best ramen ever. Every single place you go, uh -huh. you're going to be like, this is the best burger I've ever had. Really? Probably. Okay, I'm pumped. Uh -oh. Goodbye. 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 I legit feel like an American right now. This is insane. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? This food, right? Jimmy Jacka. Steak, garlic steak, mm -hmm. chili cheeseburger, and it's, it tastes hot. It tastes like a chili. It is hot. A little bit like up the hill. You're driving down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Starting route to Dekoku, PA. That was a good little drive to Daikoku. Uh, and it's ISO. You guys are a bit fast, isn't it? Um, yeah, my, my speedometer is broken, so I couldn't tell. Uh, yeah, I don't know how fast yeah. it yeah, yeah, I was like going. Abo like, said, said it best. We go really fast until we reach the speed limit, and then once we get to the speed limit, there. then we stay yeah. there. Yeah, 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 
I stopped looking after we passed the speed limit, so pretty much I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we're driving out at the speed limit, yeah. Very cool, tonight uh, we are here on Daikoku for a Friday night this time, which we haven't yet been on a weekend. Best place on earth. Yeah, so there's Friday a night. ton of awesome cars. Look at this 34, four-door Blitz R34. See, some, some people like to hit the clubs, like this guy, Max the Ladies. <laughs> But car guys like to go to that cuckoo on Friday nights, right? Yeah, uh, so we drag them out tonight. We drag them out tonight. So before we actually go do our cruises and our, our night runs together, let's let's get a cool quick look let's at around, the yeah. cars here at that cuckoo. Type bars in Japan. You guys know him? Look, look at his yeah, pack. Look at his pack. We know him. That's our good friend. Yep. Midnight Club. So I spotted this really clean 86 out here at Daikoku tonight with kind of a twist. It's got like the Fujiwara Tofu Cafe livery on the side, but it has a really awesome, a really awesome body kit on it. But something that they just told me about it, you can actually collect toge stickers. You guys can see right here. So these are all the different toges of Initial D that you can, yes. that you can collect in Guma. Yes, you can collect it everywhere. But oh. some some of them are like from the different toges that mm. never been used. But in general, like this, they have this community where they make a lot of toge stickers. So that's why whenever you go to that toge, right, and then you want to have buy this kind of sticker as a commemorate to like you've been to that toge. So you have a toge from all the way from like from the north, which is like an Aomori, yeah. to all the way down to the south. That's so sick. Yeah, we, we should have gotten one at Roko. Yeah, oh, there is there's one in Roko. They, they do have well, one, actually. We just get it, and we, since we were there already. Well, True. we have to go to that, like a specific True. merch shop to buy. That's so cool. We are definitely going to be collecting these tomorrow. And everything are old school. Another super sick 86 here. 11 this time. Yeah, 11. Um, with Hayashi's. Mm. Very old school. It's super cool. <laughs> Definitely one of the cleanest RX-7s I've seen so far. Look at this, dude. Look at this wing. That carbon weave. So dark, you guys can't really see. So sick. Oh, this is an RX, it's an actual RX-7 Infinity. Yeah, that's what I said, Infinity. So you can tell with the square headlight, the taillights, mm. which is um, it's which is uh, one of the early iterations of RX-7. That's dope. This kit is, I really like the side skirts, the wing, and the, like this entire kit, really. So many 8.6s out tonight, dude. It's so clean. This one's super clean. Damn. Makes me want to go home and modify mine. We're still waiting on our body kit uh, that's coming in from that's coming in from Japan, but this thing is crazy clean, man. And, and no sunroof, very nice. I love the red. Ooh, Expert Oz. If you guys watched the uh, the 86 series, you guys know what Expert Oz is. That's very cool. That it has a OG Expert Oz sticker on this car. What is that? Expert Oz, it's like an oh. OG uh, 86 oh, shop out here in Japan. Super clean, I love this front bumper style. I'm noticing there's more Levins than Torrenos. Which is pretty interesting. This is his car actually, I met him before. Sorry, I met him before. Oh, that was... Yeah, it's nice. Hey. Like a bunch of this you know why? Coolest cars here tonight. 100%. One very specific reason. You've got to give me the backstory. So Albo knows this guy actually. All right. So yeah, we used to run with this guy uh, over in Hakone, and he is a new member of the Midnight Club. So a lot of people think the Midnight Club ceased to exist or it doesn't have new members anymore. That's not true. Uh, I'm still working with them to make like something uh, like a some feature later on. But basically, he's one of their new members. The cool thing about this particular sticker is the pink one signifies you're a member like in training. So yeah, if you're a newer guy, you're gonna get the pink sticker. Wow. Oh, Haruski Sanjo. Yeah. 
That's sick. And dude, this thing's actually crazy. Dude, this thing's like fully, so fully caged. Oh, I'm sure, Gucci. fully caged. It's got like WRC, OMP seats, which is super dope. So actually, you want to know a little bit of fun fact about this car? Yes. So I know the owner. He told me that. So this is a 997 Mark I um, GD3. But it comes with a five lug, but he converted it into a single lug with oh, the Koki. So it GD3. has the single the center locks. locks. Center locks. Wow, look at those brakes too. It's a soft tech brakes. Wow. Um, this car is built by a shop called Check Shop in Japan, where Check Shop, Check Shop is kind of like the influence one, like a US, US Porsche Customs, like yeah. a BBI Autosport sure. and all those styles. So they have like these kind of parts incorporated into the Porsche uh, GT3. Dude, this thing is awesome. Look it's at this. Look at the front end on this. Everything is basically a cup car. Yeah, cup car exactly. Yeah, cup car yeah, yeah. I even like back here on the wing. Look at the plexiglass for its end plates. Like everything on this car is custom. Yeah, the plexiglass. These are one-offs. Well, not that hard to make. Maybe. Dude, I the old school GT3s also are very very sick. I'm a huge fan of the new GT3s, obviously, but the old school ones like yeah. this, especially 997 generation, yeah, I, my, are my favorite because it's, it's six speed. Oh yeah, it's sick. six speed. Look at this. So legit. That's awesome. It's rare to be I love cars like this. This is the best place on earth. Rio JDM, bro. This is it. This is yeah. we're living the dream. It's just like the the tip of the iceberg of what all of this is. You know. I mean, I'm so happy that you get to enjoy this. Man. I'm so happy that we all get to enjoy it together. That's the best part. You know? This is not your. It's not like a car meet where you have a, always the same people come out. What's cool about Daikoku is every time it's different car meet. Yeah. Every time yeah. you see different cars, different people, you get to see like a Heidi, like you get to see like super famous people, all the way from super famous people yeah. to like, you know, average Joe mm -hmm. that who owns like a super cool car, right? Right, right, right. Like keep it like low key, low which key. I think yeah, is exactly. super rad. Jack Game Point! Oh. On you! Come boy. Come boy. Masa, here you go. Time for some drives. Time for Wangan Run. Time for some Wangan Runs. I, it's been, I was, I'm so excited right now, dude. Wangan Runs in Tokyo. There's something special about this. We're just driving in a circle. It's no big deal. It is. It's so special. It's so special. So we're going to do some night runs in the R34, the S2000. We're going to hit Shinjuku, Akihabara, the Tokyo Wangan Loop. It's going to be amazing, guys. This is one of my favorite parts about being here in Tokyo is driving around with friends and getting that whole experience with the 34. So Moss is actually gonna drive my GTR for the first loop so I can get some extra year shots and stuff for you guys and get some, some cool pictures and stuff like that. So we're gonna be riding with Albo and his amazing S2000. All you guys watching love Albo's S2000, by the way. Check this out, right here. I have another Omomori in the back over here. Safety. Yeah, we got one in the back and one in the front. Nice. Damn. Oh, it's got a maximum attack sticker. That's it, dude.
sick run, dude. Well, we pulled over for a little bit to gather the rest of everybody. And then we're gonna be heading to Shinjuku. I do wanna come see this RX-7 that we saw before we hit the loop. Which has the, uh, thank you, Masa. Nice Thanks for car. driving. So sick. Definitely have to check this FD out with the maximum attack sticker on it. Man, this thing is absolutely wild. So many cars here tonight at Daikoku. It's probably definitely time to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, good timing. Be uh, manners, <laughs> makes man, <Manam>. gentlemen. Let's <laughs> go. Okay. Heading to Shinjuku now, and we're gonna get some awesome shots with the neon lights and everything, like a real Tokyo cruise night. made it down to Shinjuku and the view is amazing. Check it out. That's like the main strip of Shinjuku right there. And then we have the lineup. Right here we have my 34, Abel's S2000, S15, and GR86 over there. It looks so freaking cool. These night drives are always the best. Abel. Sick drives, dude. That was awesome, man. As usual, in the dream. So yes. tomorrow we're gonna go to Guma. Initial D land. And it's sick. very late and we have to wake up very early. Yeah. We were gonna go Akihabara do all this other stuff. Let's call it a night so we have a little bit of energy yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> we'll continue the adventure tomorrow. Yes. So we're gonna all right, dude. See you in the morning. Bye. I guess like three hours. Dude, I'm really tired. I think I'm just gonna stay well, tomorrow. Dude, and, uh, dude, stay dude. home. So I'll bye see, bye. See you guys well, next bye trip. bye for bye bye for three hours. <laughs> I will oh. see you again. D daily bye. videos will resume tomorrow, guys. We have a very very early morning, and I got an hour drive home. All right, guys. Well, we made it home safe and sound. Only a couple of more nights left sleeping on the tatami floors upstairs in the little cot. I haven't slept on an actual bed in two weeks, and I actually kind of love it. <laughs> Super awesome night. There's nothing like driving home by yourself at two o'clock in the morning on Tokyo highways in an R34 GTR. Still such a dream to me that uh, I'm able to do this. So 
thank you guys so much for just watching and supporting it really does mean the world and also we caught a type r running the highway loop which was really really cool um unfortunately we we're going an opposite way so we couldn't really follow him or anything but it was just really cool to see like we said uh, we have a very early morning tomorrow we're actually heading to gumma to go see where initial d actually took place in real life and go see the cafe the all the spots the toges it's gonna be amazing and that's kind of our last weekend trip until i head back to the states so stay tuned for that it's gonna be awesome hope you guys enjoyed today's video had a lot of fun making it and running the highways with everybody it's that's like my favorite part of coming to Tokyo. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have not already, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see all of you guys in the next one. Matane.